Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrinceandTrader.com, here with your Friday morning market webcast. Okay, so yesterday we talked about how the roundy had been tested on Wednesday at 2700 and converted, the daily mid band and converted, and we talked about how bulls must stay above daily mid band and reach for 2750. Well, that's what they did. They held the daily mid band. We tested as low as 22.23 in the morning. And then where do they go? They reach right for 27.50. They trade as high as 54 half. Testing this area where the 200 day and the 50 day come together. So far, that area is resistance. So as we hop over to the hourly chart, you can see they tested monthly pivot, the 200 day, the 50 day, um, and they have held that as resistance. The bands are tightening up. We've pretty much been in, you know, <laughs> it's not a two handle range. It's more like a like a 10, 15 going on 20 handle range for the last, you know, 12 to 14 hours as soon as, um, you know, we popped it and they rejected that pop. We held above. Now we're trading below a little bit. So Europe has kind of walked it down. Um, we spent, uh, we, we, we got short covered then there was the pop off the news and they and they shorted that back then we got long 34 after things kind of settled down and that ended up a really nice you know directional trade for us um and we were long 38 last night 36 had tried to hold that was effectively at this point that was the the hourly mid band took some profits got stopped that overnight so we're flat and we're watching. Um, I'm watching 29. I'm, I'm watching 36 up above to see if that support area wants to be resistance now. Um, and you know, it's the last day of the month. So the number one thing that we're doing in here is we're protecting profits from a really nice week and a really nice month. Um, and you know, the 11th really nice month of 2018. So um, if if the bears can turn daily pivot and hourly mid band into resistance, these bands are going to expand today. In what direction? I have no idea and I don't really care. If, it's, if they expand to the downside, we'll figure out a way to get short. They expand to the upside, we'll figure out a way to get long. Um, you know, to, to a certain extent, you just got to kind of turn your brain off. The, the, the tip off will be at what point does the mid band go consistently support or consistently resistance. Now, door number three is gonna be, let's trade in between the bands all day long and chop everybody up into the end of the month. That's possible. And if that happens, we just, you know, we're not gonna participate. Um, and there have been moments this week where the market has been really, really choppy. Think back to Tuesday, it's a mess, right? So the battle of the week, going back and just kind of reviewing everything that we've talked about for this week, the beginning of the week, we were battling over weekly pivot. And the battle over weekly pivot, I said at the time, whoever wins this battle from weekly pivot and pulls away is going to get the next leg of the market. Well, that's 2667 to 2754. That qualifies as the next leg of the market. Once they figured out weekly pivot, and they pulled away overnight. They came back and tested that hourly mid band when we printed those lows down at 84 quarter on Wednesday, and then it was up and away. Higher low, up and away. So what's the most likely scenario? Higher low, up and away. And the, and the bears are gonna have to keep pressure on to overcome that. Okay, everybody have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll be out with some stuff on social. Check all that out. I will talk to you then, and until then, Trade them well. See you in December. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.